This is a Cafe Devo traffic alert. A big rig carrying a load of Vicks Vapo Rub overturned on the highway this morning. Police report there has been absolutely no congestion in the area for eight hours. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on what time of day it is where you are. It's Monday, November 15th, 2021, and this is Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood. The coffee is gurgling behind me on the Keurig, and Bugsy is asleep over in the corner as per usual. I hope your Monday is going well. Reading this morning from the book of Psalms, chapter 4. Verse 3, know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. It's easy to forget that God is at work in this world. One kind of distraction that blinds most of us easily is an earthly solution. Businesses are literally paying advertising money to give us earthly solutions. Things like five ways to make your business profitable, or seven tips for getting out of debt, or what to do when you're diagnosed, the definitive guide. Why pray when you can just click? (laughs) Of course, there's nothing wrong with being industrious and diligent to try and resolve our earthly problems. And Jesus commanded us, behold, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. But life hacks can easily blind us to the reality of prayer because prayer is not a life hack. It is casting ourselves on the mercies of God, trusting that even his painful yes and no is according to Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. That's 1 Corinthians 1.24. And yet we are still called to pray so that God will act. This is so true that Jesus says, that we ought to annoy God with our requests, not because God is wicked, but because he is faithful. Theologian William Temple once said, when I pray, coincidences happen. (laughs) We do not live in a closed materialistic universe that only moves when we move. We live in God's world. Therefore, let's be diligent in work. Let's be wise in our preparation. Let's be industrious with our life hacks. But when the breakup happens, when the pink slip comes, or when the diagnosis is given, as Paul said, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Colossians 4.2. Be diligent in prayer. Don't let logistics or a lack of momentum rob you of the opportunity to experience the joy of asking and receiving from your Heavenly Father. He wants to give you good things. What father among you, if his son asks for a fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent? Luke eleven eleven. You might not know what will happen, but you do know God will act, and he acts out of his love for you. Bless us today, O Lord. We're grateful for the Monday that you've given us for another day of life and for your grace and your love and for salvation. Guide our steps today, Father. Guard our tongues and watch over our thoughts. Help us as we seek to serve you today, Father. Help us to serve you well so that others can see you active and alive in us. We love you this morning, Father, and we thank you for all things. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Monday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for clicking the start button. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow.